Joey Vento, who owned a landmark South Philadelphia cheesesteak stand, has died. Family members told the AP Vento had a massive heart attack and died Tuesday. I've been coming here for as long as I can remember, and I uh, just came here today to pay my respects to uh, Gino's and Joey Vento. Gino's steaks was sandwiched in the middle of the national immigration debate in 2006. If you want to become legal, you got to learn the English because see, you come here for the opportunity for economical reasons. If you don't speak English, you're never ever going to accomplish that. Gino's was ramped up in controversy when Vento posted a sign saying, this is America, when ordering, speak English. You're giving these people a crutch. As long as they can speak their native language here, why would they want to learn English? They'll always say, eh, next month. Vento said he posted the signs because of concerns over the debate on immigration reform and the increasing number of people who couldn't order in English. Despite the sign, Vento said he never refused service to anyone because they couldn't speak English. According to Gino's website, Vento learned the cheesesteak business from his father, who opened Jim's Steaks in the early 1940s. The site says Vento opened Gino's in 1966 with six dollars in his pocket, two boxes of steaks, and some hot dogs. The South Philly joint is across from its chief rival, Pat's King of Steaks. Both places are popular tourist destinations. Joy Vento was 71. Or Larice the Associated Press.